What's going on guys? Bobby with Consumer Time Capsule back with another review for you here and today we're at the capsule to talk to you about the American release, the brand new release of the Simpsons Tic Tacs. So these came out in 2016 in Europe. You're gonna want to come in down here for a shot or you want me to bring them up? Okay, so you can come in. So we got the Marge flavor which is blueberry We've got the Bart flavor, which is bubblegum, and the Homer flavor, which appropriately enough is donut. So this is one that I clearly makes a lot of sense. But we figured out that maybe the 22 short films of Springfield episode is the inspiration for the bubblegum one, where Bart throws the bubblegum in Lisa's hair, and then a portion of that episode is spent trying to mash it out. <laughs> and the blueberry, I guess, is just based off of Marge's hair being blue. So... This is what we're looking at here, uh, and they're actually much larger than the European release, which I did get on eBay a while back, just for size comparison there. Apparently, Europeans need less Tic Tacs than Americans, because that's quite a bit smaller. <laughs> uh, the cool thing about these is that they're actually, if I can't, I don't know if we can tell with that much detail, but the individual pieces have the faces of the character that the flavor is based on. So these have a Marge print on it and a Bart print on these. And donut ones have the Homer face uh, on them. That's going to probably be a little bit too close. But it's the kind of thing where, you know, they'll do uh, like the, the Valentine mix that have the messages on them or the candy cane mix during Christmas with the, like the candy cane design on them. So now they're bringing that into the Simpsons fold, which is really cool because... The Simpsons, like, it's not like there's a Simpsons movie coming out or anything different. I mean, The Simpsons have been around for, like, 26, 27, 28 seasons, something like that. And uh, they're just bringing out these Tic Tacs because, uh, you know, people will buy them. And I did. Although they are a little bit hard to find. I actually had to buy these at the Cracker Barrel Country Store. Um, they've been spotted at 7-Eleven and some regional grocery store chains. Nothing major like Walmart or Target or Kroger. I haven't seen them at any of those places or heard about anybody seeing them in any of those places, but we're going to try the Marge flavor first, a blueberry. It does smell really good, but it's tough to, tough to pinpoint blueberry in a Tic Tac. Um, I guess I'm going to have to see. So all of these are all yellow pieces. And I guess I'm just going to shove a bunch of them in my mouth at once. You want some? Yeah. Okay. Mm. I am getting the blueberry thing. They're not bad. But, ooh, there is mint. We didn't know, okay, so on it, it says arti artificial blueberry flavored mints. They are mint. Mint was just not a way of explaining like a small candy that you suck on. It is actually mint. And that mint flavor does not match, does not pair well with the blueberry flavor. At least I don't think so. Um, Blueberry's on the outside though. Yeah, blue, the, the blueberry on the outside is really pleasant. Um, but once you hit that mint, you're kind of in trouble. Uh, man, oh man, I guess. I don't know, the bubble gum. Although there's like bubble gum, mint, uh, like actual chewing gum. So maybe that might pair a little bit better with it, but it does say artificial bubble gum flavor mints. So I think all of these are uh, gonna carry that mint finish. So here are the Bart Tic Tacs, the bubble gum flavor with the Bart faces on them. Want to give him give him a shot? Hmm. Doesn't that really. Smells good. Hmm. Okay. Now I'm getting it. Ooh. Man. Oh man. Why did they have to add in all that mint flavor? There was one quarter of one second where I was like, "These are pretty good." And that mint. Ooh. 
It's a good bubble gum. It's like a fresh bubble gum taste. It is. It's it's like a um for a second. It's like a good quality bubble gum. Like it's not like that double bubble kind of bubble gum or like ugh. It's like great bubble tape. I mean, it's it's like a bubble, it's a bubblegum flavored bubble tape, I would say. I don't really get the grape, but, you know, that bubblegum flavor. And it has, like, the mintiness give, does actually give your your breath that minty flavor. Like, I can smell my own breath. It's just getting very strong after the accumulated Tic Tac punishment. And it's pretty good. I mean, it it'll it will it will it will, it will improve your breath, but it it's, doesn't taste very good paired with the mint. But before the mint, there is that like one second maybe where you get that delicious bubblegum flavor and then it, it goes, goes off a cliff pretty much immediately. We're going to see what they're going to do with this donut flavor. I, I guess one would presume that this is based off of those pink donuts that Homer eats at the Quickie Mart, but I don't know. Let's see. Or are those Lardland donuts? One or the other. <laughs> I think pretty much every donut on The Simpsons that Homer eats end up pink. The ones at the power plant, etc. So there's uh, there's what they look like, and we're gonna see what they taste like. Oh no, it's chocolate. What? I swear, it's not pink. Especially, Whoa. smell this. Whoa. It's chocolate. I, eating it. Yeah. Wow. Um, I didn't expect that. Um, kind of like a Tootsie Roll. Mm -hmm. I would say it's um, almost exactly like a Tootsie Roll, really. Mm, I kind of like it. It's got a cakiness to it. It's the least minty on the finish, which is nice. You already at the end? I'm already, I chew, I chew them after like three seconds. What about sucking these mints? I mean, eventually, it just means more mint. Because <laughs> once I start tasting that mint flavor, I, I bite. But uh, I just didn't expect these to be chocolatey. Because they're very clearly chocolate. I mean, you can... I don't need some more. Yeah, they're, uh, they're pretty nice. I mean, very Tootsie Rollish. I mean, that's, that's definitely what I'm tasting in them. Uh, so anyway, the gimmick of these, I love that it's, you know, Simpsons inspired. I'm a huge Simpsons fan. Uh, putting the character faces on them and basing a flavor on each character. Really cool. I, I'm going to give it, I'll give it an eight and a half out of ten. Pretty solid. Uh, very happy to have found these. You know, I ended up paying a heck of a lot more for much smaller packages that I never ate from the European release. So... So pretty good. Uh, I definitely recommend you guys checking them out, especially if you're a Simpsons fan. I collect Tic Tacs. I don't. I would assume none of you do. <laughs> but if you like The Simpsons, it's a nice, cheap collectible that you can store away pretty easily. It doesn't take up a lot of space. Um, so, you know, get a couple and uh, try one and save one. Okay, ranking the flavors. Third place has to go to Bart Bubblegum because... Even though that bubblegum flavor is delicious, this is the strongest minty backing to it. And it's not good, but like, you know what? I'm going to revise that. I'd say this one is my least favorite because there was very rarely a time when I actually enjoyed it. Whereas this one at the beginning was okay. And then a long time after I swallowed it, it was kind of pleasant. This one really... It was okay, I guess, for the blueberry part, but then the mint hit and it was pretty gross. So this is gonna get third place. That, I'm glad I saved that one. Uh, in terms of flavor, I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna give it a four out of 10. Uh, not a real strong performance here from Marge. You guys wanna try these? <laughs> you wanna Nate, you wanna try one of these? There you go. There's the box for you. Uh, and so second place is gonna go to the bubble gum. These have one second of delicious bubblegum flavor. If you, if you like that original bubblegum taste, I think you might like these uh, if you spit them out. Then the mintiness hits, and it's, it's a little painful. And then you swallow them, and, like, you know, you got good breath, and, you know, it's got a nice kind of cooling sensation. 
So overall, I give I give these. <sighs> I can give them a five and a half. I mean, they're still. I wouldn't. I wouldn't ever recommend buying these again if it were just bubble gum flavor. But you know, it's. They're they're not they're not too bad. Here comes another pack at you guys. Well, bam! First place. Definitely gonna go to the chocolate flavor, even though they call it donut flavor. Do not let the pink donuts fool you. The chocolate flavor, Homer Tic Tacs. These were really good. It's if you like Tootsie Rolls, this is this is the Tic Tac for you. If they call them Tootsie Roll Tic Tacs, that's a ten. But you know they didn't. Um, <laughs> so I'll, I'll give it an eight out of ten. I'll give it an eight out of ten. It's does does still have that uh, that the kind of the back to it is minty, but not overwhelmingly so. It doesn't have the strength of the other two, but it is there. There is some mintiness, and that's still not super pleasant. But I love the um, I love that kind of tootsie roll flavor. I'm gonna give it an eight out of ten in first place on today's capsule countdown. And um, here, guys. So you know what's coming now. We're trying to get to a thousand subscribers. We're gonna release the Crystal Pepsi employee training video really soon. But you have to subscribe because we're trying to get to a thousand subscribers. Tell your friends. The quicker it happens, the quicker it gets released. It's edited, ready to go. I want to release it like literally today. So tell everybody, if you have like however many left there is at this point, 20 or 30 friends, just tell everybody you know to subscribe or get their password and log into their YouTube and subscribe. I don't care what it takes because this video needs to see the internet. You're going to love it and I can't wait to share it with you guys. Actually, I can wait until we hit 1,000 subscribers and then we're going to party. So I will see you guys then. And uh, until next time, this one goes out to just my girlfriend, Rachel. I'll miss you until I see you. Rachel. Only Rachel. <laughs> <laughs>